Last week there was a mega pack of playable leagues up for download on the Sort It Out SI website. Today we're going to have a look at how you download and install the mega pack and what on earth is included. There are 225 new playable nations. Let's take a look. Okay then, so if you head to the sortitoutsi.net website, uh, and basically, well, if you just click the link in the description, that'd be easier. Uh, but if you go to the downloads page and find your way to this FM23 Playable Leagues Mega Pack uh, by uh, Ignacio or Falso Bohemio, is his na name on uh, Twitter or the website. Uh, he's an Argentinian guy who has made a fantastic Mega Pack with 225 new nations available. Uh, one big caveat is that not all of the nation rules are 100% real. It's done deliberately. Uh, it's basically because he wanted to make them the way he's made them. There's lots of leagues in here with the correct rules. There's plenty without. That are just the way he wants to play the game. Uh, it's a lot of hard work gone into it. So we thought we'd do a little video to show you basically how to download the Mega Pack, how to install the leagues and set them up in game and what you need to do to get uh, playing with some new nations. And we'll have a look at some new nations as well whilst we're going through. So there's a big thing to do. Uh, there's a big change in Argentina, which is obviously his, his native country. Uh, and then there's some changes to the Inter Continental Cup and the Club World Cup as well. And then if we have a look down the website, there are loads and loads of leagues. So South America is full of leagues. Europe, full of changes as well. You can see here, there's just the list goes on and on. We'll cycle through them all. Asia covered loads of leagues. Africa, huge amount of leagues, fictitious formats, real formats. They're all labeled on the website as well. Though you can have a look what's, what's what if you want to have a look at a specific nation. And then Oceania as well, all in there. Some fantastic work. And let's have a look at how you download and what you need to do to get them in your game. So at the very top of the page, if you click on the download button here, uh, if you are a premium member, it will just instantly download. If you are a standard member, it will take you to a uh, holding page where you have to go down and copy some links at the bottom, which is absolutely fine. Uh, you will watch waiting. There is a video that will pop up on screen, which is one from this YouTube channel. Please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, and now the download is done. We'll have a look at where it goes in your downloads and where you put it to get it into your game. Okay then, so here we are. We've got the downloads page open up on the right, the football manager document section open on the left. Uh, on Windows, it's nice and straightforward. You just go to my documents, sports interactive, football manager 2023. It's slightly different on Mac, uh, you basically need to go to a new window, uh, go to folder and paste in the, pay the uh, location which is going to be on screen right now. And once you've done that, the process is the same. Okay then, so if we head back over to the downloads folder, you can see here Megapack Bohemio 2023. It's a raw file, uh, just under 5 meg. We're going to extract that. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our extraction software. I use 7-zip. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to extract it to a folder so we can have a look at what's inside the folder. It's simple. It's done there. Right. Inside, there are 228 items, uh, all named by the leagues they affect. Uh, and they're all showing as uh, notepad files here because FMFs can be opened in notepad, which is always useful to know. Uh, and you can see that here. There are so many different things, uh, different nations available for you to put in your game. And what you need to do is this. Select them all or select whichever nations you want to use. You don't have to use them all. I'm going to select them all though. Uh, copy or cut them uh, and head over to your Football Manager Documents folder. Uh, it's the same way you install graphics, which you can find a playlist for at the end of this video uh, and how to install all of your graphical essentials. Uh, but you basically go to Editor Data, uh, which is the same folder as what you put your uh, Sort It Out SI real name fix files in. Uh, the FMF files go in here, so we just simply paste them into this folder. See them copying across there, all 228 of them, which is going to make your editor data folder quite messy and big. So I'd probably recommend looking through which ones you want to use in game and only moving those across so you've not got them all sat in that folder. Unless you want to use them all, of course, which is a perfectly valid thing to do. So now they are there, we'll go over to FM23 and show you what you need to do in game. Okay then, so you open up FM23 as you would normally and start a new game, go to Korea and then this is where you have to do something important. So database at the top, uh, it will have all of your editor data files there, you probably don't want them all selected so I'm going to remove them and just select some leagues at random and just have a look what goes on. So we're going to go Andorra, 
We're going to basically find some real ones and some fictional ones all at the same time and put about three or four in there. Just have a look. Uh, we'll go Benin as well. Why not? It says format real next to it. Uh, so that's one option. Uh, scroll a little bit further down. See. Oh, by the way, you want to probably put your um, sort it out SI real name fix back on as well, just in case you load up some real leagues uh, that need some name fixes going. There's a video about how to install the name fix uh, elsewhere on the channel as well. It will be linked in the uh, playlist at the end for your essentials. Right. So we'll go down again. Okay. So we've got Liechtenstein. That's a that's a that's not a real one because uh, there is not a Liechtenstein league. Uh, so we will select Liechtenstein as well, and we'll pick one more and see maybe somewhere from Asia because we've not picked an Asian league yet. Let's have a look. Keep scrolling down, and we shall pick. This is some great content, me scrolling down. Right, uh, we'll go with Thailand. We'll go Thailand as the fourth nation. Right, confirm, uh, and then head to Advanced Setup, and you'll be able to select the leagues that you want to have playable in your game. Okay, here we go then. We've got Andorra, Liechtenstein, Thailand, and Benin set. All those playable leagues. We can pick a start date that works for everyone, uh, and we'll start the game. Uh... Okay, it looks like Thailand starts seven months after Liechtenstein, so we'll probably pick Thailand as the start date uh, and load the game up. Uh, you can set any database you like, your small database is what I've got set. You can have a look at what active nations and leagues you've got there, uh, and we'll get into the game after it's loaded. Okay then, everything has loaded. We can add our manager and have a look at which teams we want to manage. So in Andorra, there's a Primera Divisio, which has got all of these teams in here. Uh, obviously, with the... Um, logo pack that I've got installed. Again, video on the channel to do, see how you do that. Most of these teams, if not all of them, have got logos. Quite a few of the leagues have got logos as well, which we'll have a look at in a second. Uh, we can see here we're going just around random league in Benin. This is the created Liechtenstein league. This won't have a logo because it's not a real one, but Vadoz, uh, Vadoz are actually in Liechtenstein now rather than Switzerland. But they, uh, that league is there, and then we've got all of the five levels of Thailand. I don't know whether that's real or uh, fictional or not, but you can have a look and find out. Uh, plenty of Thai teams in there as well, and we go all the way down to lower divisions. Uh, which will probably have some teams you will never have heard of. I certainly haven't. Right, we'll go into game, have a quick look around. I'm going to start the game unemployed, uh, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, then I've gone to leagues in focus. You can see pretty much every single league here has got a logo for the league. We've got the Toyota Thai League there with a the logo. Uh, the Liga Multisigur Exigurances, which is Andorra, I think. Uh, but Thailand, the eighth uh, highest reputation in Asia uh, as a league. We'll have a look, quick look through uh, Andorra. Not very high at all, 118th, down next to the regional Ukrainian divisions. Uh, then we've got Thai, level 2, Vitalor, uh, is that Benin? That is Benin, the 37th most reputational, that's not even a word, but the 37th reputation in Africa, that is their 16 league team, uh, just one level I believe. Liechtenstein, which is the uh, fictional uh, league we've loaded, seven teams in Liechtenstein, all added into that league, and that is basically how you add all of the leagues in the world, both real and fictional, into your game using this fantastic mega pack, which is available to download on the Sort It Out SI website. The link is in the description down below. Uh, just follow this easy process of downloading, putting them in the right editor data folder, loading them up in game. Simple as that. You can play wherever you want and play some weird and wonderful teams that you may have never even heard of and definitely never thought about managing on FM23. Right, please hang around for the playlist on the installation guides for all of your FM23 essentials. There's also some simulations and experiments. There's a playlist there as well, which has got some great views of how we've simulated the World Cup that's currently ongoing. I'm wearing my England shirt because England are playing today. That's the England badge. Uh, and then we've also simulated the fall 2022-23 season. Uh, we've had a look at lots of other things. There are plenty of other content here on the channel. So please subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.